You know my first guest from the series The Good Place and as Princess Anna from Frozen, she's the best. She has a new children's book called The World Needs More Purple People, which is out now. Here is Kristen Bell. Yay! Oh, look at you. Oh, my God. You are the greatest. Come on. Thank you we'll so much. Yeah, Hi. thank you for being the audience. Hi, thank you so much for uh, coming on the show. Uh, congrats on the book, by the way. Number one, not too shabby. Um, I want to uh, thank you. quickly, before we get into this, thank you so much. You sent the nicest video message to my five year old uh, turning six on her birthday, and it changed her life. She was. She, you were just, not only did you say hi, but did you really put time into it and like spent a lot of time with my daughter and she watched it forever and all she did was talk about it and she said it was the best birthday of her life. So uh, she was like, oh, Princess Anna and I, uh, the only thing, we, we have a lot in common, but the one thing you know, we don't have in common, we don't, she doesn't like to swim, but you know, but all she could do is talk about you, talk about you and uh, anyways, me and my wife just were obsessed with you. We, you're a good egg. As that I makes say. me so happy. That makes me so so happy. That was so cool of you to do. I know how busy you are, and you probably get a thousand requests a day. But that was just, I, I, I honestly, this, we need uh, the the world need needs more Kristen Bells. <laughs> Let's just say that. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's the sequel. That's the sequel book. Uh, uh, we both okay. have daughters around the same age. What what kind of uh, things yeah. are your are your girls into right now? Right now, well, with, I mean, you know, with quarantine, what I've actually been doing, they've been doing nothing but roller skating. I'm apparently raising roller skating champions. Wow. They love it. And they are on them all day, every day. And they can do the, like, around the world where they, like, hold their foot out. No, and, that thing. Yeah, I know. The you know, leg kick out and then, uh, like that. It's oh. sick. It's sick. Their balance is sick. I don't know where they get it. And they, you know, they know they're not supposed to do it in the house, but they do. And our wood floors are wrecked but uh, show me someone in 2020 whose wood floors aren't wrecked thank you, you. Know what yes. I, mean? <laughs> uh, I can I, I have to imagine that you were a pretty good kid growing up am I correct or no I did was, you get oh yeah. yeah I have a spotless record right like, well except oh okay I'm I was a very good kid I was like a goody goody except when I got to college I, um, I've always been a bit of an entrepreneur and I noticed that in, um, 1998, the New Jersey, you remember this by the way, cause we were in both in New York, the New Jersey licenses were literally a piece of paper with lamination over it. Yeah. So in college I made, I made and sold fake IDs. Fake IDs? Really? Now yeah, this I is... did. I told them for 20 bucks a pop. That's not bad. <laughs> that, that's the going rate probably. No. I mean, wait, you're, you're. You're younger than me, but it was, did you have to print it out? Did you have a printer? Where would you do this? Yes. Use the I school? printed it out on, not the school, but like, cause I had a desktop in our, my roommate and I shared a desktop. We had a desktop and so I'd print it out and then I'd just get lamination paper and take, and, and there was sort of this weird wink wink happening around the campus of NYU. I would sell them to my friends and all the bars around NYU when you were 19, they would see it and I would have to imagine they knew because it was like, you know, a terrible fake ID replica, but they kind of were like, I'll give you a beer with this and you better be able to walk out of here. But like, we're not getting drunk on this. This, this is, is going to be a one time is, pass. You know, this is, you do silly things when you were a kid and also, wait, what, what year did you start SNL? 98. 98. Do you ever remember meeting me there? I knew you didn't. That's okay. So listen. So when I was in college, this is a major blast from the past. When I was in college, um, Ariel Ash, who was one of my best friends in college, who was the, I know, hello, I know, the, uh, um, love Ariel uh, Ash. The assistant, the the intern in the set department. Yes. To Landon, I think his name was. And so obviously I went there every weekend and would like walk around the halls. But mind you, I looked maybe 13. Okay. I was 18, but I was definitely like, this why is, is a that photo. Child? This is a photo yeah. of you. That's from a photo that time. of me. Right. <laughs> exactly. That was my idea at the time. I blew it up and put it on the back of the book. <laughs> Overall, um, but it that's where, Ariel that's Ash where I first became best. friends with Mike Schur. Because, I mean, look, you were on the show, you were very cool, but like Mike, who also was a little baby boy writer there, um, that's how I first became friends with him. But and you ended up doing the good place. We wow, that is... the good place. I've got Ariel. And Ariel's sister is married to Seth. 
Myers. Seth, exactly. Alexi, I know. We have so many connections. That's wild. Oh, I love that story. <gasps> Thanks for telling me about that. Um, <laughs> I, I want to talk to you about uh, your new children's book. Uh, the world needs okay. more purple people. I love the idea of, about this book. It's the number one New York Times bestseller. So congrats on that. Um, how Thank did the, you very much. How did the idea come about? And I think you're a, you're, you're a great person to do this because I like, are you kind? Are you curious? Can you be really, really ridiculously silly? I, I, I kind of think that you, you yes, do. Yes, yes, I think you do all these things. Yeah, that's a very on brand. I try. You know, purple, like, it's obviously a little bit of a metaphor. It's not, you know, super under the radar. But we, I, my, one of my other best friends, Ben Hart, and I were at, like, we were having a family dinner two years ago. Well, you just wrote a children's book. So, you know, it takes a long time, even though they're only 20 pages. It two takes, years, like, two yeah. years. Yeah, I agree. Right. So, um, we were sitting around the table, and we were just sort of noticing this very polarizing political culture seep into our kids' daily lives. And we were like... This feels wrong. It feels like we're seeing enemies everywhere. And so we wanted to do something helpful with the language that they were even subliminally digesting when they saw the television and they saw red versus blue, blue versus red. And I was like, no, it's not versus anything. And right. so we wanted to sort of create a social identity that positions our kids towards other human beings to work out any disagreements, any you know, different opinions. So like we came up with five great pillars that we thought no one could argue with. Like what would everyone agree on? So we were like, ask great questions, laugh a lot, use your voice, work hard, and also just be the unique you and celebrate all the differences. Because we were like, I don't think I could find a person on the planet that was like, it's really bad to laugh a lot. You shouldn't do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know? Look at the drawings, by the way. So, the art is fantastic. It's so great. You know what's so funny is when um, my when I was reading this to my children, we talked a lot about being a purple person because to us it just is this you know kind, curious human being that you can be in the world. And I read them the book, and they were just like not interested. And I was like, uh oh, I've done something <laughs> wrong. And then I was like, no, wait a minute. They're just not interested in this Google Doc on my computer. They need art. So when Daniel Weissman came on board, who wrote those, I mean, who drew those amazing pictures, then it changed and then they really liked it. But we're yeah. very, very proud of sort of what the book means and how we can celebrate being unique, but all live in the same place together. Uh, you got a winner here, pal. Uh, congrats on this. Um, when we Thank come back, you. I heard that you might have a Christmas song prepared for us. Is that? See, this is I what. do, Jimmy. I have something very, very special for you, and it's the first time I'm sharing it, and I'm excited to um, bring it to your ears. I cannot wait. More with Kristen Bell after the break. Stick around, everybody!